Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're talking about Call of Duty Vanguard on the Xbox Series X. So, um, <clears throat> first of all, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Second, I cannot recommend this game. Do not buy it. If, if, if you must, wait till it goes on sale. Just, just trust me on this one. This, this game is, is, I mean... Okay, let, let's let's start out with some of with some of the stuff. Okay, so first of all, you have you, you can't just download all of your textures. Like if if you want to have a beautiful graphics, you have to stream those graphics, um, and and there and it's pretty pretty decent. You know, pretty decent chunk of of streaming data. Like you're 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 gonna be you're gonna be downloading gigabytes. So if you have a if you if you have a data cap, don't, don't buy this game. Like you're gonna want the pretty visuals, and you're gonna blow through whatever data cap you have pretty quickly it seems like on this game um just in a few sessions that i've had with it over 20 gigabytes downloaded and that's not to mention you know the 60 something gigabytes um visual wise the game does look fine like it looks great um it it's it's actually it, i mean it's definitely a step above you know last year's um call of duty cold war uh the the character models look pretty decent the the surrounding areas look pretty good i mean for the most part like the game looks pretty good it's that's not the problem with it at all this year that the, the graphics and you know the hdr you know being dolby vision the uh, uh every everything all of that stuff is fine it's the content that's just it's stupid it's so dumb it's so bland it's so freaking just generic that it's like wow really like you guys really sat in a room with a whole bunch of other people getting paid lots of money to build activision's most profitable freaking thing and this is the crap you guys come up with really um zombie mode sucks it's dumb it's stupid i i don't freaking even care to even play it i played it for a couple of matches and i was like this is dumb like i don't even want to play this it doesn't even feel it doesn't even feel like zombies anymore like it, it just it's it's completely morphed into this this uh, yeah dude I, I can't even explain it I, I just don't even care to really like go into the whole zombies thing that's just like i just don't even care about the zombies in this man like it, it's not even like I, I i spent my money and and like every single time i turn around in this game like every single mode okay so yeah the zombie mode is just dumb like it, it doesn't have any replayability like they, they like the like the old ones do like they're there those are fun you know i could get in there and i play them for a little while i never really got into it to play it like a whole bunch my main thing has always been like the campaign i care about the campaign and i'll play like some of the multiplayer and, and, and dabble in the zombies because i just you know i'm just kind of over zombies man i'm, I'm just kind of over zombies um the campaign oh my gosh oh my gosh i don't even i don't even know where to start with this okay like this is the most disappointing call of duty experience that i've ever had in my life not only are the characters just bland and uneventful and and just like stuffed together it's like a whole bunch of it it it's like one of those playstation uh the little playstation things that they showed us you know with just all the the like weird people or whatever just coming together or something you know it's like they they, they stick a whole bunch of people that you know like like and they all have like differing backstories or whatever you know and I, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand the political message that they're really trying to get across because that's what it feels like to me. It feels like it's some political message that they just they, they need to ram home again because we haven't heard enough about it, you know, so it's like, OK, you know, we'll just we'll just stuff this in the video game and and and, and just try to ram it home this time. And like, seriously, I couldn't even finish the campaign. It's just stupid. It's just it, it's stupid. It doesn't like the, the whole campaign was just is just dumb it's it, okay okay so 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 the it starts off pretty freaking cool like you're on this train and you're going up the train you know jump from train to train and there's like trucks with stupid ai that just stand there and look at you until you shoot them and this is on realistic deal like the the hardcore veteran or whatever like the hardest one the one where you get shot at, uh, like once and you're dead you know <laughs> these guys are just sitting in the back of the truck waiting for me to to pick them off and then 
Oh my gosh, I, I I don't even know where to begin. Seriously, this is it, it starts off good like that, and then you you break into this base or whatever you know to like this the submarine thing, and, and you you take out everybody, and then and then boom, all of a sudden you you this elite team gets caught, like you're you're caught, and they the the protagonist that you're playing at first they they just the the German dude just destroys him and throws him in the water and whatever you know, so I mean it's just. And and then you're like kept captive, and then it's like telling backstories for all the characters, and I'm just like, dude, this is stupid. Like this is really dumb. Like this is this is way dumb. Like I don't even care about like, the, why why are we going through all these backstories? I mean, like, aren't we here to do a mission? Like, obviously we're here to do a mission, and like we're we're just doing all this backstory. Like, no man, let's let's do the mission like Call of Duty way, you know. But no, it, it, it's. It's all drug out, you know, each character has to go tell their story and then they have to do their little whole political thing, you know, about about that character, you know, like the female character, you know, they get their their political thing, you know, like <clears throat> I, I I don't know, man. I'm just so sick of this stuff in my video games. Like I don't even care. Like I've got a perfectly good TV that has news on it. If I want to watch that, I'll watch that. It it to me it just feels like more propaganda. It just feels like more propaganda. Um and and it's and it's just getting to the point where I just I don't even care like it's not interesting anymore. We've heard so much about it that it that it's like I want some I, I want to play my games to get away from that stuff. I want to be able to experience like like cool fun stuff you know that doesn't keep me rooted in in reality you know like that's the whole point of playing video games right to get away from reality. It, and it and it doesn't it just saps all the fun out of this game and it just makes it completely freaking it it, it just makes it 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 makes it, it yeah it, it completely ruins the experience when they keep putting all this stuff in the games like like, like i understand whatever um it's gotten to a point where like i i i don't i have no desire to finish playing this campaign like i i don't i i don't even care i don't want to play the campaign anymore i don't want nothing to do with it um, it, it really sucks. The thing that really drove it home for me that made me really just completely not care about this game. Like I just don't care about it. I, I don't want to ever play it again is multiplayer. Okay. You get into multiplayer. I can't even switch from a female character to a male character. Like I, I, I've tried to figure it out to switch and like seriously guys i don't want to play call of duty as a female character okay like i I just don't i i especially just some random generic female character like i don't want to play call of duty as a female character like okay like i get the whole fact that you want to make make it this this more approachable for everybody but that's not what you're doing you're making me play as a female character and and what do I got to do? Do I got to do I do I have to like play until I unlock a male character? Do I have to buy a micro microtransaction to be a male character? Like like I already paid for the game. What what is it we're trying to do here Activision? Like what is the purpose of this game? Is it a game or is it a uh, a political freaking advertisement? Like what is it? Is it a game or not? Like what is it? I I I'm lost for words. Like I don't freaking care about the po the politics of the world like I, I don't care about it like, like i don't want to spend my hard-earned money to play this game that's supposed to be a game while it's just 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 cramming me full of like like ah uh, it's it's really frustrating to tell you the truth it really is like i i don't want to sit through a whole political spiel you know we we just had the election you know whatever i was bombarded with that crap for for four years like i don't I don't want to hear any more about it. I want to play a freaking video game and enjoy the video game. I mean, nothing that they told in this campaign is even relevant to the mission that we were trying to get through. Nothing, nothing at all. It, it you're, you're breaking into a base to steal some, some paperwork or design or whatever you're trying to find. Everything else does not freaking, it, it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, you're, you're trying to build up these characters in a, in a five hour shooter campaign. Like none of it mattered. None of it, none of the stupid dialogue that we went through in any of the missions that I played through 
mattered to what we were trying to do. Like none of it mattered. It it, it was so just, it, it felt so out of place and just so freaking shoehorned in that it's like, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Didn't matter at all. None of it freaking mattered. The whole, I, I, I'm serious, man. Like th this game is stupid. It's really just stupid. I mean, like the points that they're trying to make or whatever. Yeah, they're valid points. Obviously, they're valid points. But this is a freaking shooter video game. Made to be an addictive shooting shooter video game. And it's not that. It's a political message that just has been beat and beat and beat so much that, that I'm just... Yeah, dude, I cannot recommend this game. It's not even a freaking game. Like, I don't see this as a game. I see this as... Some car, some sort of, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And it feels like a lot of these Western companies are going in this direction. I don't care that there's females in the video game. Like, I don't care. Like, perfect, you know, if a chick wants to jump in and play as a girl. No problem. I don't have a problem with that. I want to play as a male character in a shooter video game that I am actively role-playing, trying to role-play as a military veteran. I'm not a female. I, I, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't freaking care. I mean, the, the campaign, I want, I, I don't know. Yeah, dude, I can't recommend this game. I'm pretty irritated with it. I can't believe I wasted my money on this. Don't waste your money. Like, if you really have to play this, wait till it's on sale. Like, you're not missing anything. The, the rest of the game's not going to be here for a while anyways. You're not missing anything. I promise you that. It, it's this is the worst call of duty campaign i've ever played in my life and i'm not just saying that i'm not just being hyperbolic about it like this is literally the worst the last one they made world war ii was freaking great you got there you're in your crew like everybody's freaking cool like it it felt like i was in world war ii with a bunch of other dudes and i was and i was having a good time you know when i was i was enjoying that campaign this is nothing freaking like it this is complete crap compared to that this this is the dumbest call of duty i've ever seen and played in my life i will not uh, the only one i swear infinity ward man you're the last hope like it, it i'm not buying any more I'm, I'm not buying any more of the other two the only reason i bought this one is because i i, I liked i liked world war ii but i mean gosh dude this game is just so far off the mark that it's not even funny and like I, I understand that I'm getting a little riled up about this one, but come on, man, come on! This is supposed to be the end of the year Call of Duty that everybody jumps on and plays, and it's got the lowest ratings. I mean, I've I've looked in, I looked at the Metacritic, and I'm like, wow, dude. Okay, maybe I'm not that far off base because like I really freaking hate this game. Like I hate it. I hate the, I hate the way that it it it's put together. It just it feels rushed. The, the, the campaign is literally garbage if they spend a whole lot of time on that like i don't i don't know man like this is this is the dumbest call of duty i've ever played in my life not once did i ever feel like, like whoa man i'm a great soldier i mean you know the multiplayer the couple of multiplayer matches that i did play you know they felt fast they felt fluid but <sighs> come on man come on call of duty really call of duty really dude Really, man, you guys are not listening to the community whatsoever. You guys are listening to the game journalists that clearly, clearly are not video game players. They are people that went to college to learn how to write, and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't find a job at any of the places that I want to work, but, oh, there's a video game outlet. Oh, can I get the job here? Yeah, yeah, of course I like to play video games. Huh. They're not freaking video game. They, they, they're not gamers. They're not gamers. I, I don't I, I don't I don't know anybody that I ever play online com complaining about like any of this stuff. You know what I mean? Like I don't ever hear that stuff online from any other video game player that I know. In fact, every single one I talk to thinks this stuff is cringe. We don't need it in our video games. Like quit trying to sell us this this idea for these journalists, man. We don't care. They do not represent us in any way, shape, or form. And like I've said, yes, the 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 stuff that they make in the the the, uh, the stuff that they make in these, yeah, they're valid concerns. They are, and there's nothing that can take that away from that. Yeah, whatever. But this is a video game, man. This isn't a news broadcast. This isn't a freaking. Yeah. All right, you get what I'm saying. Do not buy this game. It it's not worth your time. It's not worth the effort. Um, the if you must play it. 
do yourself a favor, get this game on sale, wait until it is less than half price, and then maybe pick it up. But I, I get I get what you're saying, man. I, I don't worry, guys. Halo will be out in a month. You do not need this freaking game. Do not support this stuff. Let's speak with our wallets on this one, guys. Just tell them, hey man, we don't need it. We don't need it. We we don't want this anymore. Let them know that, hey man, we're 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 done with this. Halo's gonna come out, Halo's gonna be freaking great. You know, there I mean Deathloop is good. Play Deathloop. If you're on a PlayStation, play Deathloop. Deathloop is an amazing experience, way better than this garbage, and that does represent, you know, um, it, it, it does represent people of color, and it does it way freaking better, way freaking better. It's not throwing all the garbage in your face that, like, like trying to trying to make you feel guilty the whole time you're playing the game. Like, no, man, it's a freaking amazing game. Like, Deathloop is freaking great. If you're on PlayStation, play Deathloop. If you're on Xbox... Oh, man, you'll have Halo soon enough. You will be fine. And Battlefield's coming out tomorrow. So, yeah, dude, don't even worry about this Call of Duty. It's the worst Call of Duty ever freaking made. And with that, I hope I didn't offend anybody or make anybody mad. Like, I really do care, you know, about the social things that are going on. But I just don't care about them in my video games. If that makes sense, I just don't care about them in my video games. I don't I, I don't want... I, 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 play my video games to get away from that stuff but i do care you know and i'm and i'm with everybody you know trying to be trying to make america better for everybody so if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one